I'm Lance Schwartz with Field and Stream and Outdoor Life, and today we have the 2012 Can-Am Outlander 1000 XT. Uh, the Outlander 1000 is a brand new model in 2012 for Can-Am. Um, and at the heart of this monster is uh, the, the enormous 1,000cc V-twin liquid-cooled engine. It's good for 82 horsepower. And when you hear the word, you know, when you hear 82 horsepower, a lot of times you think, um, you know, a machine that is going to be difficult to ride and almost unable to handle. And the reality of it is, is that that's certainly not the case. Um, while it is certainly wild and, and has an incredibly high top speed, uh, and, and a very experienced rider can, can certainly ride the wheels off of it. Uh, what you find out is that um, it can also be ridden really tamely too. You know, if you're plowing snow with it, if you're towing a trailer, uh, if you're hauling something around on the racks, that's very easily accomplished with this ATV as well. Holding that 1000cc uh, engine is Can-Am's new SST G2 chassis. Uh, surrounding spar technology is not necessarily new to Can-Am. Uh, they they're the only ones in the industry that do it, and it's basically a giant hoop uh, that the engine sits inside of as opposed to kind of like a cage like a lot of the other manufacturers um, utilize. So that new chassis has been updated. Uh, it's stronger. Uh, it's more durable, and um, it has the ability to take, a, to take a pounding, to take the pounding that a 1,000cc engine is going to go ahead and, and put onto it. Um, one of my favorite features about the new Outlanders is the dynamic power steering and uh, tri-mode dy dynamic power steering, which means that it not only has power steering, which was revolutionary to the ATV industry, um, but this is adjustable, has low, medium, and high settings, and those are user-selectable while you're out on the trail. So um, you can dial that uh, steering assistance up, or you can dial it down depending upon your needs. One of my other fe favorite features about this model is the dual key setup. Um, my, the black key, which has a microchip in it, talks to the computer and when it sees the black key, it knows that I want 100% of the power that's available um, to, with this machine. If I switch over to the gray key, what ends up happening is uh, the computer recognizes that this is not the, the powerful key and it will actually tune down the performance. Uh, so if you have somebody that also rides your ATV, uh, you know, a spouse, a sibling, that d isn't quite as experienced uh, riding an ATV as you might be, uh, this is the way to go. You can, you can actually give them this and it, and it uh, limits the performance, which in the end ultimately makes for a much safer machine. XT models come with a couple really cool features. They come with front and rear bumpers. Uh, they come with the uh, hand guards that are that are stock and work quite well. Um, they also come with a uh, worn winch, and the winch actually is remote capable. So there's a little plug on the left hand side here, and uh, should you bury it in a mud hole or bury it at the you know the bottom of a water hole, uh, and you don't want to sit in there, uh, you can simply plug it in and um, extract the ATV while you're not sitting on it even if it's in a precarious situation. Uh, Can-Am ATVs have the Visco lock set up. So Visco lock is a locking differential. Um, that's not new to the industry. Pretty much every manufacturer has their own version of it. What's different about Can-Ams is it's automatic. Um, it will feel the wheel slip and it will use a clutch that actually applies more power to the, to the wheel uh, that is not slipping and hopefully uh, pulls you out of any situation that, that you might be in. Um, a couple other points to, uh, to mention, the Outlander 1000 XT comes with 26 inch Carlisle ACT tires. Pretty good tire, pretty good traction. Uh, we did manage to get a, a hole in our left front sidewall, so uh, the area that we do a lot of our testing in is, is particularly rocky, and um, one of those rocks happened to uh, puncture the sidewall. Um, happens with a lot of ATVs, uh, but uh, you know the weight. Th this is a very heavy machine, so the weight and the power. Um, you know, I, I would like to see maybe a, a little bit heavier duty of a tire 
on on a machine that costs twelve thousand um, dollars. Some other things to, to talk about as far as the ride. Um, I love the brakes. The brakes are very powerful. Uh, the left lever actuates all four brakes. There's actually a foot pedal on the right hand side that brakes just the rear. Um, in the future, I'd love to see a, a separate front brake. Uh, I think that that's a really important um, piece of equipment for an experienced rider, and there are situations where a separate front brake might might help out a lot. Um, the AT is large and it's heavy, but it doesn't feel large and heavy, which is which is a great thing. Uh, it, it feels very nimble. Um, you don't realize how big it is until you start trying to squeeze it through some trees and you start rubbing on the sides, and, and then you realize you've got a little bit of little bit of, uh, of size to it. Um, this also comes with a two-inch receiver hitch and the two-inch re receiver hitch will allow you to take the hitch off of your truck and plug it into the back and you know tow your trailer around your yard if you need to uh, need to do that. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to mention you know it it, it kind of has a Jekyll and Hyde personality when you're riding it um, it is very tame when you need it to be uh, you can certainly do some yard work without going crazy uh, plowing snow whatever um, but when you wanna when you wanna get out on the trail and tear it up, uh, this thing really hauls the mail. Um, has a top speed in the upper 70s. Uh, it, not a place where I'd like to spend a lot of time, especially in the tight woods where where I live. Uh, but it, it's just an amazing machine with a lot of horsepower and uh, some good handling to boot. The handling's much improved this year over years past. And uh, you know, if you're in the market for a new big bore ATV, uh, it's tough to overlook a model like this. Uh, the, only, the only hesitation I have is the fact that it's $12,000 and uh, that, that's certainly a lot to pay um, for, for an ATV, you know, no matter how much money you have. 